What is up bros, it's Tommy here and in today's video I will share with you guys the three types of exercises that you should do as a beginner and also how to train with them more effectively. First of all, let's go through the three types of exercises I recommend you to do. First is going to be push exercises, then we will have pool training and finally is the abs workout. For the first two types of exercises which are push and pull training they will be the two main sources of building your fundamental strength. However, each of them will also have different benefits. With push exercises, it will focus on building your triceps, chest, and shoulder muscles. Basically, this will be one of the most important training types since it has a lot of variations that you can try. The harder the exercises is, the more it will target the muscle groups that I've mentioned above and it will also build furthermore onto your strength which will eventually support you to do one of the most difficult movements in calisthenics and it is the planche hold. Also, the push workout doesn't require much equipment, therefore it will be easier for you to train with these exercises anywhere you desire. So those are the advantages of push exercises and for pull training, it will now focus more on gaining your forearm strength, biceps, a bit of your abs, and especially your back muscles. For this type of workout, you will need to have an equipment, which is a pull-up bar. If you don't have one at home, then you can mostly find one of them at the park. Though you will have to spend a bit more time going outside to do pool workout, the outcome of this training will be very worth it. Since most of the pool exercises require more strength than the push training, it will also boost more of your basic strength. And with pool training, it will now support you to do advanced skills that include the pull up bar, such as the muscle up and the front lever hold. And finally, for abs exercises, most of you would think that the only benefit of doing abs workout is to have a nice body. However, not only it allows you to have a nice shredded six pack, but it will also give you the power of usable abs, which could be your core strength. So personally, I think that for those of you who just started working out, the core strength will not be very important. Because what this muscle group mainly focuses on is supporting you to do the advanced skills in its perfect form. For example, your front lever starting out looks like this. And by having a bit of your core strength, you can now perfect its form a lot more. Therefore, this type of workout can be optional and it is up to you to choose if you want to train with it or not. I would still recommend doing it so you won't have much trouble when training for further difficult exercises. Okay, so now you already know what the three types of training are, I'm going to share with you guys some of the main exercises for each type so you will make progress faster. For push training, the first exercise I would recommend you guys is definitely the regular push-ups. Though it is one of the simplest variations of the push-up, it will increase your strength gradually. Next up will be the diamond push-up. This way of push-up will be a bit harder since you have to place your hand in a different position. However, it will target more onto your triceps and especially your chest muscle. And finally will be the explosive push-up. This variation of the push-up will increase your basic strength a lot. And after you have gotten used to this movement, you can also try out the clap push-ups. For pull workout, I would suggest focusing on the two main fundamental exercises, which are the pull-up and the chin-up. Try to do them regularly until you can reach 10 reps of good form, and then you can change to a harder variation. If you find it hard to do the pull-up and the chin-up, you can practice with the Australian pull-up first and also the negative pull-up which is using an object to support you to get into the pull-up and then you will slowly lower your body down. And for the abs workout, there will be two types of training. The first one is for having a nice six-pack which consists of high-intensity exercises such as mountain climber, bicycle and flutter kicks. You can also add in some cardio exercises to burn your fat faster. 
The second time of training is for your core strength and there will be three main exercises I would recommend. First is the leg raises. If you find it difficult, you can start off with knee raises first. Coming up next will be hollow body hold. And finally is the plank. After getting used to all of the three exercises, you can also try out the exit hold and you can check out my tutorial video on that right here. To make the workout more effective, I would recommend you divide each of the training types equally in your workout schedule rather than training all of them in one day. For example, Monday is push exercises, Tuesday is pull workout, Wednesday is abs training, then repeat with the next 3 days and on Sunday could be a rest day so your muscles will have time to heal and recover. So there you have it. The three types of exercises that I would recommend you to do so it will increase more of your fundamental strength and help you make progress faster. If you find this video helpful, then a like and subscribe will be super appreciated. Well then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay workout and I will see you in the next one.